go for it. Go for it. Just give it a go. The best place to start is to start reading around your subject. Find out if you have a passion for engineering, if you are excited about new technological advancements, if you're excited about engineering in the news, if you're curious about how something works. There were times when I was really put off applying, for example, when I was preparing for the physics aptitude test, but don't be daunted, just go for it. The worst they can do is say no. That's the worst that can happen. And I think also, once you've actually decided to apply, in your personal statement, you need to be really specific about why engineering and why you. Oxford is, is really special and it's really worth a shot. And the first step is believing in yourself. Even the application process was really interesting. I learned a lot from it. In every stage of the application process, I was just trying my best and seeing what could happen. So I would urge others to do the same. Also, believing in themselves and being proud of their achievements no matter what happens. I was definitely nervous going into my interview and I think it is so fine if you're nervous going into your interview. That's so normal. At my Oxford interview, I was very nervous going in. I was nervous, but as soon as I got involved with the problems that we were talking through within the interview, I actually began to really enjoy it. As soon as I got in there, the tutors were so lovely. They asked me a few questions about the weather and how my journey was. And I felt really, really calm after that moment. It was really nice. And we were just able to go through some maths and physics questions and have a really nice discussion. They did help me a little bit. So they gave me a bit of guidance, but it was a two way discussion. So I would ask something and they would answer and then they, they would prompt me and I would give an answer. And it definitely was a discussion between both of us. And eventually it led me to get the correct answer. So definitely talk in your tutorial, tell them what you're thinking, trying to explain your thought process and that will really really help you out. The tutors were extremely encouraging and really kind trying to help you get to the end of the problem sort of supporting you throughout. For people considering to apply and are nervous about the interview I would really say don't worry about it just try your best try to get involved in the question um, and really listen to what they're saying because they're not trying to catch you out. I think just let them do their job they know what they're looking for and then you can do yours. I had two interviews. I had my first at St John's and my second at Lincoln. So my first one, come in, sit down, got one interviewer and one of his PhD students. First a discussion about why engineering, why Oxford, and then straight into the problem. The tutors, there were two of them, and one was a default and one was one of the senior tutors at my college. They were really lovely people and they put me at ease. They asked me about my personal statement. I got asked four questions. One, the first was maths, and then I got asked a couple of physics ones. It was A-level knowledge. Keep calm. Relax and be yourself. Speak out loud when you're working. Speak your mind. It's definitely worth brushing up on your A-level knowledge beforehand. Even when you're just practicing at home, practice talking out loud and trying to say what's on your mind, because that's definitely something that you're probably not used to as an A-level student but tutors want to see in an interview. They want to actually hear what's going on in your head so they can see your thought process. I found it quite useful going through the past papers for the physics aptitude test and also the British Physics Olympiad because they had quite similar questions. It's just applying, you know, your existing knowledge in a new situation. Every little thought process, everything you're thinking, talk your way through it because that's what the tutors want to know. I was quite nervous about the whole interview process. I think that was mainly because I thought it'd be harder than it was. And I went in there thinking it would be hard, whereas they ease you into the problem. But then when you get there, I would really just go out and enjoy what college has to offer with the other applicants. It's worth completely not stressing and not worrying about cramming knowledge when you get there. 